Hi and welcome to a new video. Do you want to use a specific application on your Mac, but it is only compatible with Windows? The best part is that with the new Apple Silicon powered MacBooks, its powerful graphic and CPU performance now allows you to integrate Windows into your laptop. In this video, I will show you how to install Windows 11 on your M1 Silicon Mac. Let's go. Previously, you could simply use the Bootcamp Assistant to install Windows. However, with Apple Silicon chips, this is no longer an option. Instead, you will need to use virtualization to access the Windows operating system on your Mac. For this, I recommend Parallels. This software is specifically designed to enable Mac users to install Windows OS and run various Windows apps without having to reboot their device. If you want to try it out, you can do so for free with a 14-day trial. You can find the link in the tag or in the description below. To use all of its features right away, click Buy Now and select one of the available plans. Its Standard Edition offers a one-time purchase plan, while the Pro Edition is subscription-based, with considerable extended functionalities. If you're a student, you can get unlimited access to all of these features for an even lower subscription fee. For most users, I think the Standard Edition is enough. Once you've decided on a package, download the software to your Mac. Then open Finder, locate the downloaded file, double-click the icon in the pop-up window, and then follow the on-screen instructions to start the installation process. Note that you may be asked for your Mac's administrator credentials before the installation can begin. Once the Installation Assistant window appears, click on Install Windows, and then wait as it downloads. When the download is finished, click Open System Preferences to configure the necessary permissions for utilities such as camera and microphone, in order to avoid access errors in parallels later on. Following these changes, the Windows installation should resume without further interruptions. Once the installation is done, click Accept to agree to the Windows license agreement. If any updates are available, I recommend you download them first to enjoy an upgraded version of Windows. To give you an idea of how useful Parallels is, I'll quickly go over some of its features. First off, you will have the same internet connection as your Mac, as well as full access to your speaker and camera. Opening applications is also conveniently fast. You can also directly access the local files stored on your Mac. It contains the exact files. The only difference is that you are viewing them in Windows File Explorer. For first-time setup, you'll likely be prompted to log into your account before you can use Parallels. If you're a new user, sign up first and provide your email, name, and password to create your own account. Otherwise, log in to your registered email address. If you purchase the license, click Enter a key to activate it. You may also install the Parallels Toolbox to gain access to its other available utilities. Let's skip it for the time being. Now, you can run Parallels in full screen mode and see the entire Windows user interface as if you were not using a Mac. Switch between the two operating systems with ease and conveniently quit the app from your dock. Launching the parallel software in your Mac is also notably fast. Moreover, you can also observe that the Windows screen replicates the exact desktop display of your Mac. If you want this program to launch automatically when you turn on your Mac, right-click on the Parallels icon on the dock, select Options, and then activate Open at Login. And that's it! If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye.